Hey Gemini, Latron here, Psychic Love Coach, and this is your October 2020 love reading. To book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also book a mini reading with me through Wizio, wizio.com slash psychiclovecoach, and both of those links are in the description box below. And don't forget to, while you're in the description box, enter to win this month's love reading drawing. And don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning and haven't done so already. So my lovely twins, let's go ahead and get started on your reading now. All right, so I do have your cards in front of me and I wanna go into the events first and then we'll talk about how you're gonna be feeling. So I see here, Gemini's, that you're gonna be learning lessons. You're going to be learning some spiritual lessons, some karmic lessons. You're going to be learning lessons regarding your love life in October. Now I have also here the card of waiting for you, but this card came up in the reverse. So next to the card of release, this is leading me to believe that there's someone who you are involved with in, someone who you are involved with rather, and perhaps you were waiting for this person. You could have been waiting for this person to come back to you, waiting for this person to reach out to you. In some way, you are waiting for this person. And I feel like you're also waiting for this person to comfort you in some way, to give you some kind of comfort or some kind of sense of security in some way. However, you are, again, releasing this desire. You're releasing this weight. You're releasing this sitting around if you haven't sitting around waiting for this person so you're not going to be waiting for this person any longer during october but i see that on the other side of this release there's a sense of renewal it's like you feel renewed you feel free there's transformation there's change and these lessons that you've been learning or that you have learned are likely feeding into this renewal because of the lessons that you learn, you've been able to go through this period of transformation or this experience of transformation. So you're also going to be very patient. On the other side of this renewal, on the other side of this transformation and this change, you are going to be adopting patience, patience in your love life. It can be patience with this person or it can just be patience in general. But I do see that Blessings are coming your way in love. This was a card on the bottom of the deck. And look what's under that. Embrace change. All right? So there's change coming. Again, transformation, shifts. So embrace those. Again, we have blessings coming up. So know that no matter what is going on, everything is going to work out for you. You have great luck. You have a positive outcome coming to you. So let's go ahead and go into your prediction now. I can see here that there's a relationship, there's a lover, there's somebody very important to you. This person could be at a distance. This person could be at a distance from you. This can be a long distance relationship or a relationship that requires a lot of travel. This can also be you moving forward and moving on. Remember, you're not waiting for this person anymore. So this could be you moving forward. Now, it does look like for some of you, for some of you, there can be some travel. For some of you, there can be some travel. There can be you going to visit someone or someone coming to visit you because we have this writer card here. For some of you, you're also dealing with a new lover as well, okay? But there can also be a new beginning in your love life, a feeling of a new beginning in your love life, especially after this release and this renewal here. So because of this, you know, you also may receive a message from afar, so look out for that. There's like a visit energy, a message energy, something coming to you from afar. But again, you could be deciding to move on and go in your own direction, have a new beginning. And I see that you are definitely going to be feeling empowered. You are definitely going to be feeling empowered because of the choice that you decide to make. You may also decide to take rein take power over your emotions because maybe you're someone who is very emotional. 
Or maybe you have deep emotions. Or maybe your emotions could be all over the place. This is for some of you, not all of you. However, if your emotions have been kind of all over the place, you're going to be reining that in and taking your power back emotionally. So if you've been okay, or this could be for both groups, those who have been emotional, those who haven't, again, you're going to be empowering yourself moving forward. And I see that empowerment very, very strongly. And you could also be focused on business as well, too. You could also be focused on business, especially if you're in a high position, all right? Or if you are a entrepreneur or if you're a business person with no boss, um, you could be really investing your time and your energy into your career, into your business, into your money matters, into your wealth. So how will you be feeling? So how will you be feeling? So we have some challenging feelings first, and then the feelings evolve into something actually very positive. All right, so don't be afraid about the first two energies that I'm going to give you because it does shift. So initially, and this could have to do with the waiting, a feeling like this has to do with the waiting. You're going to be feeling a bit down. You're going to be feeling down, okay? Feeling withdrawn, feeling a little empty, feeling a little numb, all right? You're going to be having some challenging energy. And then you're going to go into a lighter place of not feeling so bad, but feeling more bored with your love life. Remember, you're waiting. You're sitting here waiting. You're waiting around. It's like wishing and hoping and waiting. You're waiting. You're sitting at the window waiting, looking for this person, waiting for this person. It's going to make you feel bored. So you're going to be feeling uninterested or apathetic. And then back to this bear card here. You're going to go from bored to feeling empowered. So you're going to go from feeling bored, again, uninterested and apathetic, to feeling empowered. So that's a really big shift in energy that we have here. So that is great. So you're going to be feeling powerful, capable, and strong. And then from this place of power, from this place of power, it's going to allow you to feel peaceful. You're going to be feeling strong, you're going to be feeling empowered, and you're going to feel at peace with yourself. And I'm feeling like this is once that release comes... Once that release comes, you're likely going to be feeling at peace, feeling at rest. Because you're not sitting here waiting. You're taking the, the chance to stand up and fight for yourself. So you're going to be feeling, again, powerful, capable, strong. And then you're going to be going to a place of feeling calm, serene, and centered. And then we have the best energy here, the best feelings here of all. At the very end, you're going to be feeling fulfilled. So you're going from this. Look at the difference in energy. This is where you started. This is where you're going to be at the end of this. Look at that difference. Okay? You're going to be in a really, really great place. And I feel like, and I'm getting chills. I feel like your, oh, I'm getting chills. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. I feel like your wishes are going to be fulfilled. So Gemini, make sure to make a wish, make a wish. And you, want, you may even want to do that right now. You may want to pause this or just right now make a wish so you have the opportunity to have that wish fulfilled. So you're going to be feeling satisfied, self-actualized, and realized. So that's a much, much better energy. I'm really happy that you guys are going to be feeling so great by the end of the month. So, or at least on the other side of this, you know, time is fluid. All right. So let's see what's going on here. <sighs> All right. So when it comes to the energy or the guidance, rather, we're going to go into your guidance now. I first have the card of cut your losses. So remember, you're going to be releasing this person. You're going to be releasing the situation, moving forward, I suppose, and empowering yourself that moving forward here. Again, some of you could just be at a distance, but you do have this energy of moving on, moving forward. So this is saying to cut your losses, at least during the month of October, at the very least, cut your losses. This is a temporary energy. This doesn't have to be for the long term because... You know, if you want this person or want to be with this person, everybody's situation is different. No matter what you want, you're going to be feeling fulfilled. So this card says to cut your losses. Your guidance here, your first card says cut your losses and move on. So release. 
I know you want him to chase you, but if you're not feeling loved or valued, then what is the point? You're too good to be with a guy who isn't sure what he wants or if he wants you. All right. Also, I have here, forget what he says and don't jump to conclusions and never assume. Forget what he says, don't jump to conclusions and never assume. So these cards are interesting because they both have a similar energy and one of these popped out of the deck. The don't jump to conclusions and never assume card jumped out of the deck. And both of these cards are talking about taking their actions at face value. So don't jump to conclusions and never assume says it's important to take all of their actions and behaviors at self value. Don't try to bend his behavior to fit the rosy little fantasy picture you painted for yourself in your mind. So it's very important to look at what he does as opposed to just listen to what he says, because somebody can tell you anything, but it's their actions that really count and really show someone's character and also how they feel about you and what they want from you. So forget what he says. What matters more is what he does, not what he says. Exactly. Follow through. Follow through means everything. If you want to know, follow through means everything. If you want to know you're seeing a man with real long-term potential, pay attention to his actions and act accordingly. So if someone's not giving you the love, the attention, the affection, anything that you are seeking, then this is best for now. And this is best for now because you want to empower yourself and you want to take care of yourself, right? And if this person isn't taking care of you, then who's going to take care of you? And it's not that person's to take, not that person's job to take care of you anyway. But if you're feeling down and that person isn't doing anything about it, you have to be the one to pick yourself up. Also, hold off on the sex. Hold off on the sex. Hook him in by making sure you are subtle and sexually suggestive, but not overly so. He will value you more if you make him wait. He will value you more if you make him wait. All righty. So, Geminis, these are the messages that I have for you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thumbs up and like this reading. Comment. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning and haven't done so already. And again, to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also find me on Wizio. Those links are in the description box below. And also check out the amazing free resources down below and enter to win this month's love reading drawing. Sending you so much love and light. Bye, twins. There's something about you so